Thank you so much. Thank you. We are Trio Fadolin. Um, we started off with a couple of pieces I wrote for films. Uh, the first one was called Plume. It was originally for a BBC documentary called The Team. And the second one was called Ori's Fearful Symmetry. It was written for a film in which it didn't get used. But it became a fun concert piece to play nonetheless. Um, so turning, uh, switching gears a, a little bit, um, or a lot, rather. Thank you for coming. Uh, uh, the, the war in Ukraine, even though it's very far from here, it's very close to us. Uh, it's in our hearts and minds constantly. Uh, all of us here have uh, family from Ukraine. Valeria was born in Kiev. Um, when the war began, we had a couple of concerts uh, coming up, and nothing in the repertoire really was standing out as something that we could play. And so I tried to write something as a composer to write something kind of as a diary and as a way to process about this time where we live and about all of these horrible things going on. Um, uh, all of us uh, came here uh, 20 or 30 years ago when our parents left the former Soviet Union and made the ultimate sacrificing you know, comforts, jobs, uh, places of, you know, places where they grew up, childhood homes and everything, and came here so that we could uh, live here and grow up here and our children could grow up here. And uh, I am, we are all very grateful to our parents. And so uh, we'd love to, and a couple of friends in the audience who are very instrumental in, my, in our case, in my case in particular. Um, so I would like to play for you this, uh, beginning of a piece that I started writing. It's a work in progress. It's several movements. It's about 10 minutes long. It doesn't have a name. It's untitled Trio Fadolin Project. But it is a piece about this time where we are. So hope, um, hope it'll help in some way.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this next piece um, is by a Spanish-American uh, cellist and composer named Andrea Casarubios. Andrea lives in Chicago these days, and she wrote this beautiful piece called Maktub, which in, Mar in Arabic means it is written. Um, it was written for three cellos originally, and uh, we loved this piece, and we asked Andrea if she would consider arranging it for us. She uh, graciously accepted, and so this is uh, her piece, Maktub. Uh, the first movement is called Mirage, and the second movement is called Takao. I hope you will enjoy. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, this next piece uh, comes to us from composer Lembit Beecher. Lembit Beecher uh, was born in Santa Cruz, California to an American father and an Estonian mother. Um, Sabina is from Estonia. Um, and I'm very Of course, speaking of which, I should introduce the band. Uh, now that you've heard some of it. So on violin, we have Sabina Torosian. And on cello, we have Valeria Sholokhova. And my name is Lova, and I play this Fadolin. Thank you. Well, so as I was saying, we're, we will play a piece by Limbit Beecher. Um, Sony, an American composer, lives these days in New York City. Um, this piece is called Strange Folk. Um, and I think you will hear in it, you know, music that sounds eh, Estonian, American, uh, kind of all sorts of things in between. It's, it's got this theme that keeps going through, uh, like, you know, kind of like pictures at an exhibition. There is a theme, it walks through different paintings, and so this is kind of like a theme and variations in uh, multi-folk style. I hope it's a, some of it is very wild, some of it is very placid and beautiful. I hope you'll enjoy it. It's about 11 minutes. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Um, back on. Thank you very much. Um, uh, we're going to play one uh, last set of pieces. Uh, this is by uh, a person. Uh, the, the, all of these pieces were. Uh, uh, Strange Folk was originally a string quartet that I adapted for trio. Uh, this, uh, some of the other pieces were for other combinations. This last piece is by a person very important to me. It's a piece by my dad. Uh, my dad is a, a legend, a living legend composer, a performer, a, a music critic, journalist, and uh, he's written, he wrote Russia's first rock opera in 1975. Uh, he's written, uh, it was an overnight sensation from age 30, basically. Um, he wrote eight symphonies, um, several operas, three dozen musicals, 60 film scores, hundreds of songs, eight books, and, and on and on and on and on. It's just the most prolific person I know. And um, last year, um, I asked him if he could write a piece for us. And uh, he uh, gratefully accepted. Uh, I think he's watching on the stream in New York. So, спасибо, папа, спасибо, мама, спасибо, что вы нас сюда вывезли. Yeah, right, right. Um, so, um, so we'll play its piece. This piece is called Three Muses. As you may surmise, it has three movements. First one is called uh, Cleo, the Muse of History, uh, and in English he called it eh, History as a Mystery. The second movement is Polyhymnia, who is the muse of pantomime and also the muse of anthems. And he says, anthem as phantom. And if you listen closely, you might hear some phantom anthems in there. Um, and the last movement will send you off with Talia, the muse of comedy, or as my dad jokes, pepper for stepper. So this is the three muses by my dad. Thank you so much for having us here at Millennium Stage. To everybody who's been working, to Donnie, to Greg, and uh, Warren, and uh, to everybody here at Millennium Stage. It's been a blast. I was here also last week for a residency. It's been great. We are Trio Fadolin, Sabina Torresian, Valeria Sholokhova. My name is Lyova. Thank you, and uh, be well.
Thank you for joining us at Millennium Stage. For more information about upcoming shows,